Hello, everyone. I am the Affirmation Queen. I love affirming myself and others. I am so glad that you have tuned into my channel. I hope that you are having an amazing summer. Today, I want to talk to you about keeping a positive mindset. Keeping a positive mindset. And as you know, I am the queen of affirmations. I am the affirmation queen. And I love affirming myself. And I love affirming you. So to keep a positive mindset, I believe that you have to affirm yourself first thing in the morning when you wake up. So when you wake up in the morning, come up with some wonderful, great affirmations that you need. Also to keep a positive mindset, do gratitude affirmations. Be grateful also first thing in the morning. So some examples of these are as soon as you wake up in the morning, you're saying thank you. Thank you for waking me up this morning. This is a wonderful, beautiful day. And you're affirming yourself. You're saying, I am amazing. I am wonderful. I am well off. I am powerful. Today is a wonderful day. Now, I want to tell you something. I love walking. Usually, you'll see me out walking in nature, and you know I like to be by the lake, and I like to walk in my neighborhood, but today, it's almost 100 degrees, okay, with the humidity and everything else, so I had to come into my gym, and I had to work out here. Do Is it my favorite thing to work out in the gym? No, because I'd rather be outside. However, I have to keep a positive mindset. I have to say, I love working out on that elliptical machine over there. This is like a hard elliptical machine. <laughs> but I have to say, my affirmation is, I love working out on the elliptical. It is so much fun. I love lifting weights. I have so much fun doing it. Because I'm keeping a positive mindset. And guess what? When I'm on that machine and I'm working out, as the time goes by... I do start having fun, you know, and my body is thanking me like, oh, thank you so much for doing this for me. So keep a positive mindset. No matter what you're going through, no matter what the situation is, even if you're around negative people, still keep that positive mindset. You know why? Because you have two legs, you can always walk away from it, okay? So you don't have to stay around negativity. I have a video that talks about that. Just go and look at some of my videos and you will see that video. Another way of keeping a positive mindset is visualization, visualizing what you want, seeing yourself where you want to be. Now, how do you do that? Do you remember when you were a little child and you used to imagine, you used to play, you know, you and as you're playing, you're just imagining things. You're imagining that your doll for the ladies, girls, oh, your doll is, you know, you're playing with your doll and you really feel that your doll is real or your car, you're playing with that toy truck and you really feel that you're really driving the truck even though you're not. It's very similar. Visualization is very similar as an adult. Visualize, see yourself where you want to be. Okay, just a couple minutes, just think about it. Sometimes close your eyes and just see yourself. See yourself happy. If you wanna be, mar be married, see yourself married, okay? See yourself sitting down with your partner and eating a meal visualize it. Another way to keep a positive mindset is to write your vision down and make it plain. I have a video on that. Write out your vision. Get a, a journal and write it down. Write out positive thoughts. Write out your affirmations. 
If you have, and you're trying to keep a positive mindset about your finances, and you want to make a certain amount of money and bring a certain amount of money into your home, write that amount down. If it's $10,000 a month, you can write down, I currently have $10,000 a month income coming in. Or if it's $5,000 or whatever your needs are, write it down. It helps you to keep a positive mindset. Set. A vision boards. Do a vision board. I have a video on vision boards. Put your vision board up in a private area so when guests come, they don't see your vision board, okay? Because I don't believe in showing your vision board to uh, people that's between you and your family. It's your vision board. And then hang it up somewhere where you can see it. That will help you to keep a positive mindset. Another thing is play positive music. When you wake up in the morning, don't put on hardcore rap and, you know, hardcore um, pop music or, you know, hardcore heavy metal. Don't do that first thing in the morning. When you wake up in the morning, let it be peaceful music. When you go to sleep at night, go to sleep with peaceful music, okay? Music, you know, you can even allow that. They have, YouTube has uh, music where water is playing, where there's nature. You would be surprised at how that will help your mind and it will help you to think positive. Surround yourself with positive people. Go to positive places. I love going to the museum, the library, get out in nature, okay? Go stand by a tree, sit on the grass sometimes and just be thankful for the sun, all right? These are all things that will help you to keep a positive mindset. Another way that will help you to keep a positive mindset is read positive books. I enjoy reading. Read positive books. One of my favorite books is called The Game of Life and How to Play It by Florence Scovel Shin. It's an amazing book. Another book that I like is by Dr. Cindy Trim. It's called Commanding Your Morning. Okay, find what books best fit you. Read books. Another way to keep a positive mindset is to eat healthy, organic food. Health is wealth. Again, I say health is wealth. And when you are eating healthy foods, it will help you to keep a positive mindset. I'm up early this morning. I'm out working now. I'm going to continue to work out. Guess what, y'all? I'm doing this video with no makeup on. Hey, your girl has no makeup on. And at one point in time, I did not have a positive mindset about that because I was in a car accident. I had 28 stitches in my face. And at one point in time in my life, I was insecure about my marks. But guess what, y'all? These are my testimony scars. That's what I call them, my testimony scars, because God spared my life. And now I am able to do this YouTube channel, bare face, no makeup. I am keeping a positive attitude. I'm thankful, thankful, thankful. Now that happened about 20 years ago, but still, I'm still thankful. So I hope that this helps you, giving you tips on keeping a positive mindset, keeping a positive attitude. Remember, when you keep your thoughts positive, your thoughts become your words. When you keep your words positive, your words become your actions. When you keep your actions positive, your actions become your habits. When you keep your habits positive, your habits become your values. When you keep your values positive, your values become your destiny. We are destined for greatness. I love you with the love of the most high. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe. Bye-bye. Love you.